Hi there, Richie from the review room here. When we upgraded the Samsung Galaxy S3 to Jelly Bean, one thing was apparent. We now had two voice services running on the same phone. Now the S voice icon still appears on the lock screen and can still be accessed via the double tap on the home button and Google Voice can be accessed through holding down the menu button and waiting for Google Now to appear or to press the Google search widget on the home screen. So the question is, why would Samsung retain its own voice service while also providing the new Google Voice? Simply put, the new Google Voice service is focused on information delivery, whereas S Voice is more about phone control. So let's take four questions that demonstrate this. The first phrase is, open the camera. Let's see how each service responds. Open the camera. Opening camera. Open the camera. So as you can see, S Voice understood that I wanted to use the camera app. Google Voice simply provided a Google search based on that phrase. The second phrase is, call Michael Cosmides. Let's see this one. Call Michael Cosmides. I found Michael Cosmides in your address book. Call Michael Cosmides. Okay, so S Voice listened and compared my phrase to my address book and found the contact name. Google Voice tried to interpret the name Cosmetes as actual words and came out with, funnily enough, cause me tease. No comment. Sorry, Michael, but uh, you're not my type. But then it came up with the name most likely to be associated with that and found the correct Michael in my address book. So in this instance, Google Voice used its own cloud data, then applied it to the phone, whereas S Voice looked at existing information on the phone first. Okay, so let's try using social media through here. Let's post an update to Facebook. I'll say, post to Facebook, working hard on videos tonight. Post to Facebook, working hard on videos tonight. Say update, cancel or speak something new. Post to Facebook, working hard on videos tonight. Okay, so on S Voice, it got it right and came up with the post within S Voice to post on my behalf. On Google Voice, it again took my phrase and applied it to Google Search. Lastly, I'm going to ask, where is the nearest Japanese restaurant? Let's see how they go. Where is the nearest Japanese restaurant? No results for your area. Where is the nearest Japanese restaurant? Okay, so S Voice wasn't able to come up with anything, but Google Voice immediately came up with a selection of Japanese fine dining in our area, which you could then select for navigation and more information. So what we have here is an interesting amalgamation of two somewhat distinct voice applications. Now S Voice is great for controlling the smartphone applications and finding localized data like contacts and other things like music. Google Voice is about providing rich data from around the world and helping us use the information to make choices like where to eat tonight and how to get there. So what we have here is an interesting amalgamation of two somewhat distinct voice applications. S Voice is great for controlling smartphone applications and finding localized data like contacts and music. Google Voice is about providing rich data from around the world, around us, and helping us use that information to make choices like where to eat tonight. So that's our look at S Voice and Google Voice on the Jelly Bean Galaxy S3. Could Google or Samsung somehow meld the two together, like um, <coughs> Siri, <coughs> you know, to produce uh, an all-in-one voice solution? Now, what are your thoughts on the two apps living on the same phone? 
If you want to see our video that looks at the voice comparison of the Galaxy S3 updated to Jelly Bean versus the iPhone 5, click over here. If you want to see some new benchmarking results with the tweaked Galaxy S3 with Jelly Bean, click over here. As always, we'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments area below. Please share this video with your family and friends. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Until next time.